ah sorry ah uh, tadi kelas tadi saya tertinggal on this part okay basically what we have learned just now ah uh, is on ah uh, journal kan how to uh, perform journal macam mana nak masukkan daripada journal kena post to T account ni kita dah belajar tadi okey then saya lupa masukkan part uh, the theory part dekat kan dekat dalam slide ada ni cuma tadi tadi terlepas sebab saya tak sangat cerita pasal yang dua-dua ni okey so discount basically kita dah tahu ada discount discount ada dua one is trade discount and another one is cash discount Trade discount ni macam dalam slide dia cakap An allowance given by the seller to the buyer To encourage the buyer to buy in bulk So basically it is Allah okay, It is to encourage um, the customer to purchase in uh, bulk Ataupun secara banyak lah okay. In, uh, in uh, huge amounts of goods lah contohnya Okay, basically, uh, it is given by the uh, seller, kan? Seller to the buyer. So, I wrote here, seller to buyer. A discount that uh, given by a seller to customer. Uh, saya tulis ni customer lah sebab kita dah familiar with the word customer tu kan? Okay. Okay, apa lagi dia cakap? Dia kata, will be the deducted direct. Uh, from the total selling Nanti kita tengok contoh dia So kita tulis sini Dia deduct Directly uh, From Total selling Price Okay And then another one dia cakap Dia tak record in the book Meaning uh, trade discount ni is not uh, Recorded in the uh, Book of account Sama ada Haa uh, Journal ataupun kita punya T account lah In Books of account Ataupun tadi saya cakap Journal Or Ledger okay. Trade discount ni tak ada pun, Tak ada akan You, you guys tak akan uh, record Dia punya amount of discount dalam journal atau ledger Macam mana? Okay, contoh dia macam ni Contoh ada situation. Bought goods worth 2000 on credit from Aminah Trading receive a trade discount of 5%. Okay. First thing first, what you need to do, you have to calculate the discount first. Meaning, sebab dia kata trade discount kan? Okay. Macam dia cakap dia terus uh, deduct uh, to the selling price. Okay. Contoh, kita kena um, tahulah the amount of the selling price yang selepas Dah deduct dengan trade discount Okay, contoh Purchase price Okay, the original ataupun yang Selling price yang before deduct is 2000 2000 So, directly deduct or minus The trade discount from the Selling price, so tadi uh, Jual 2000, so awak kena ada Discount 2000 darab 5% Kat sini lah Okay, sekarang ni ada kata directly uh, deduct uh, from the selling price tu. You directly tolak terus. So, you bila tolak, you akan dapat RM1,900. Okay. RM1,900 ni yang you akan recordkan dalam terus. Dalam journal and also uh, ledger. You tak payah record the amount of the discount. Tak payah. So, macam ni lah. So, saya highlight kan. Uh, ini terus Ni terus masuk dekat dalam uh, Journal and uh, also Ledger contoh journal dia macam ni Kalau kita masuk journal kan okay. uh, Macam ni dia kata apa Bought goods uh, okay, Kita buat dia punya ni dulu lah Direction dia dulu okay, Bought good purchases on credit okay. uh, From Amina you bought a good okay, Purchases Expenses Increase uh, From Amina trade Payable ataupun kita punya creditor uh, Liability increase Okay baru buat journal Now you know Now you have classified Which uh, account yang uh, affected Okay nah, Buat journal Okay contoh ni tadi dia tak bagi date So you don't have to put a date here Okay what uh, Which one is debit and which one is credit Make sure you refer back the formula that I give uh, to you Okay Expenses meningkat Kita kena buat apa Kita kena uh, Debit So 
masukkan kat debit purchases Ex, uh, tak payah lah tu lah expenses ni dah jenil dah ok expenses ok ni tadi debit sini sini kredit okay, berapa masukkan terus 900 eh 1900 kredit trade payable is our liability liability meningkat we we need to uh, put it uh, in the credit side lah so contoh nama dia tadi Aminah so uh, trade payable uh, Aminah ok so masukkan 1900 because of what debit and credit side must have a balance uh, amount lah like this so this is the meaning of trade discount which mean you have directly deducted in the selling price and then you record the deducted amount in the uh, trust in the journal and also uh, ledger lah so kalau ledger pun uh, sama lah you bila dah journal record 1900 ledger pun of course you will record 100 1900 so that is the meaning of trade discount now uh, we go to uh, cash discount cash discount macam dia cakap tadi an allowance given by a seller to buyer to encourage a buyer to make a prompt payment so meaning that dia nak cakap macam ni uh, to make okay, macam tadi untuk uh, kalau trade discount untuk uh, encourage customer to buy in bulk kalau ini pula adalah untuk suruh dia orang bayar, bayar hutang cepat to make a prompt payment ataupun suruh bayar hutang cepat lah ok ok and then uh, cash discount ni ada dua type which is a discount allowed and also discount receive ok of course uh, discount allowed is when we give to our customer discount tu kita yang bagi kepada kita punya customer kita give given to the customer ok kalau discount allowed tu kita bagi customer discount receive tu yang kita receive lah discount yang kita uh, receive discount uh, receive from seller ok so ada dua jenis discount sekarang ni kiranya ada dua jenis uh, apa tu accounting element lah ok kalau discount allowed ni is something that you give to the customer so kita keluarkan duit betul tak bila kita keluarkan duit itu adalah kita punya expenses tu adalah discount allowed kalau discount receive kita dapat kan? Discount tu kita dapat. So, it is part of our revenue. Okay, revenue. Okay, kita di bawah ni lah. Ni expenses. This is our uh, revenue. Okay, oops. Okay, revenue. Okay, now. Dia cakap macam tadi, trade discount ni is not recorded in the book of account. But then, cash discount ni, dia ada different way. Dia kata, it will be recorded in the statement of profit on, uh, and loss meaning profit and loss ni this is our sochi lah before we make uh, we prepare sofi we will we will prepare sochi first so dia nak cakap kat sini uh, cash discount ni will recorded in sochi ok macam mana ok example dia macam ni ok Example dia macam ni eh. Contoh. Um, contoh dia cakap. Example on cash discount. Okay. Let me write this one first. Okay. So, uh, let's say this is the example for uh, cash discount. Okay. Uh, actually the example is a continual continuity of the first example lah which is tadi kita ada uh, hutang dengan Aminah Trading now kita nak bayar hutang tu tu Aminah ni by check after deducting cash discount of 2% mean masih kita nak bayar uh, apa tu Aminah tu kita dapat uh, discount cash discount kan sebab kita nak bayar kan so ni kita dah tahulah ni adalah discount 
receive so this is our revenue lah so basically we already know because uh, Amina is our trade uh, payable ataupun creditor so right now we want to pay back uh, the amount that we own just now which is 1,900 okay so uh, macam yang cakap cash ni dia akan um, masukkan dalam soci meaning kita kena kira berapa jumlah diskaun tu macam tadi Uh, trade uh, trade discount ni kita tak kira pun berapa jumlah uh, discount berapa yang dia tolak kita terus masukkan uh, apa tu the amount after uh, you have deducted the uh, discount okay macam cash discount kita kena kira uh, berapa discount uh, yang kita dapat okay contoh kita hutang tadi uh, amount that we owing is contoh tadi apa berapa Uh, 1,900 And then Kita kena kira discount dia How many discount How much Discount receive yang kita dapat Lah Because Kita nak buy Kita Kita nak bayar And then uh, Dia cakap After deducting cash discount So kita nak bayar Kita lah dapat uh, discount tu tak So Sekarang kita nak kira Berapa uh, Dia punya Uh, discount receive so 100 how to calculate this 100 1900 times with 2% so 2% is uh, the discount rate uh, sama dengan bila kita dah dapat so it is our discount is 38 ringgit lah so this is our discount uh, receive amount 38 ringgit and then uh, how many uh, amount ataupun ringgit that we should pay back to Amina after we minus lah kan the the amount owing with the this one apa uh, the discount receive with let me just put kat sini lah dia punya calculation so that you can see so 30 ringgit is from the calculation itself Mm. ringgit. Okay, so amount pay is when you have minus uh, the amount owing with the discount. So, akan dapat uh, 1,862. Okay, this is the amount pay that basically you have to pay. Okay, dia macam ni lah kira dia 1,900 RM eh. Minus with RM 38 ringgit. Okay. M30 ringgit. So this is the amount that you should pay. Okay, kalau trade discount, you terus ambil amount ni masuk dalam journal. Tapi sekarang lain. Sekarang ialah kita punya cash discount. So uh, how how you should put it in the journal? Okay, jom kita move to our journal. Okay, contoh okay macam biasa. Tapi cara post ni kena satu satu tau. Which is you have to post uh, the amount that we need to pay and also uh, the discount uh, amount tu so sekarang kita akan record dua kali ok contoh uh, apa uh, tadi kan debit ok debit liability liability bila berkurang kita akan debitkan dia ok ni saya dah masukkan dalam ni kita akan debitkan dia and then Uh, bank Satu-satu kan Bank uh, Berkurang Bank is asset Asset berkurang Kita akan uh, Creditkan dia So ini The first uh, The first journal We have to incur uh, We have to insert uh, The amount paid Contoh macam yang ini kan So yang first ni Kita record amount paid Amount paid kita Which is this one lah So, kita kena record berapa ringgit sini? 1862. 2. Okey, macam saya cakap, kalau cash dis kalau trade discount sampai sini dia settle. Tapi sekarang ni cash discount, kita kena record amount yang discount yang kita receive tu. Now, kita kena open lagi satu journal. Kita kena masukkan amount uh, discount receive pula. Okey. Ambil balik trade receivable sebab trade Uh, trade receivable buat trade payable kita lah sebab dia yang bagi kita uh, discount kan okay trade amin uh, trade uh, payable which is the amina of course debit juga sebab tadi 
uh, liability tu memang dah kurang Aminah punya account memang dah berkurang jadi bila liability berkurang kita memang akan debitkan dia and then now uh, bank memang kita dah record sebab kita nak record amount paid first dulu tadi kan so kita dah record amount paid now we have to record discount uh, receive punya amount okay. now uh, discount receive Aminah memang kurang tadi dan memang betul so kredit apa? revenue bila revenue meningkat kita akan kreditkan dia so kita akan masuk discount receive year which is berapa amount discount kita? RM38 ni tadi RM38 so nampak tak perbezaan dia antara cash discount dan juga Uh, trade discount trade discount you just masukkan terus directly insert the amounts of the selling price after you deduct the uh, trade discount which is this one uh, terus masuk amount journal of amount paid okay but for cash discount you will have to uh, to to what to recording Uh, method lah which is yang first kita kena uh, masukkan the amount P and the second one we have to uh, masukkan the discount amount whether you either discount allowed or discount receive for, for this um, situation we have discount receive ok ok and then Uh, first step after kita, untuk cash discount ni kita kena tahu apa kena tahu lah berapa, berapa berapa discount receive yang kita dapat atau discount allow yang kita bagi so kita calculate uh, from the amount owing tadi how many let's say uh, we follow our example this now uh, 1100 and then we have to calculate our discount receive which is they, uh, they have been given here in the question Uh, this cash discount of 2% so the amount owing the total of amount owing you times with 2% and then you will get 38 ringgit so this is the discount receive amount okay and then when you minus uh, the total amount owing with the discount you will get um, this one uh, 1,860 62 okay macam saya cakap tadi, kita kena record dua kali journal which is the amount paid, the red one here as well as the discount receive here, the 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 the, the what? Uh, the yellow one here. Okay, first, this one, this is, kita record the amount paid. Macam biasa, after kita dah classify, kita record lah macam biasa. Tapi record amount paid dia dulu and then record kita punya discount uh, receive. Punya um okay uh, same go same goes to if you have a, a discount allowed so uh, so that is just what you have to know lah on cash discount which which is you you have to record uh, two times okay and then for trade discount you just have to record uh, one time which is a record on the amount paid only Okay, and remember cash discount have two types, discount allowed and also discount receive. What I give you, uh, what I have given you just now, this is on discount receive. Okay, uh, if discount allowed, you will probably have different um, apa? transaction effect lah. Okay, move. Um, Okay, next move to uh, carriage inward as well as uh, carriage outward. Okay, carriage inward and carriage outward. Both uh, accounting element for carriage inward and carriage outward uh, is a cost for us. We need to pay uh, our transportation. Okay, uh, let's go through carriage inward first. Okay. Macam dalam slide, dia ada dalam slide tau. Okay, carriage inward. Dia cakap, carriage inward is the cost of tra transportation paid to bring the goods bought to the business premises. Meaning, this is actually a cost of transportation. Macam saya cakap, ah, salah je. 
Nanti saya cakap dua-dua ni adalah cost of transportation. Right. What is the difference between these two? Uh, for, co for carriage inward, this is basically uh, cost of transportation uh, paid to bring the goods yeah, into our business. Basically, uh, in Malay, they, if you guys familiar uh, Malay word, they will call it angkutan masuk. Okay, they will call it as angkutan masuk. Okay, carriage in word ni, basically, um, kita transport our bought good lah. Bought good. Okay, kalau ini adalah carriage inward, car uh, angkutan masuk. Yang ini adalah kita punya, carriage outward tu adalah kita punya angkutan keluar. Okay, dua-dua sama macam saya cakap. This is the cost of transportation. But the difference is that uh, carriage inward tu, uh, a transport, to transport uh, our bought good. To transport our bought good. But carriage outward ni adalah we pay to deliver the goods. Uh, tengok kat jenis, uh, tengok dekat slide tau. So basically it is we pay to deliver the goods to our customer lah basically kan. Um, mm, to deliver uh, okay, saya tulis ni lah deliver uh, goods so to the customer. So, basically, uh, carriage outward is obviously this is our expenses. Sebab apa? Sebab bila, bila apa tu? Bila customer beli dengan kita and then kita kena hantar barang yang dia beli tu ke rumah dia. Contoh dia beli perabot. Dia tak boleh nak, tak ada lori nak bawa, nak angkut barang yang dia beli tu ke rumah dia. Jadi, kita lah ada... Uh, delivery charge contohnya So uh, Kita yang kena masukkan Charge tu dalam kita punya business Which is kita yang kena Bawa barang tu ke dia punya rumah So this is part of our Expenses Same goes to carriage inward Kita dah beli okay? Kita dah beli barang And then um, Kita kena bayar Supplier kita apa Delivery charge So, both of these is a cost for uh, the business. But then, uh, cara nak masuk dalam Sochi and Sofpedia uh, is different. Okay? But you will uh, know that both of these is a cost. Okay? Kalau uh, carriage outward is memang betul expenses. But the carriage inward is our COGS. Yeah? Kita, dia akan effect on our cost of uh, goods so okay but this one you don't have to know the detail but later when we uh, want to prepare sochi uh, you will see the difference okay okay macam mana nak masukkan dalam uh, journal entry dia journal entry dia macam ni David K reach inward atau carriage outward credit cash atau bank si macam saya cakap dua-dua adalah cost cost tu adalah expenses so bila expenses is on the debit side lah so apa-apa expenses kalau meningkat akan masuk debit betul kalau expenses menurun memang kita akan masuk credit Uh, refer back to the formula that I have give you So kalau uh, contoh Kalau carriage inward ni berkurang Kita masukkan dia belah kredit lah But this one I just want to um, Just Record as a general Recording uh, Apa tu transaction lah So this is just a general But it depends on the situation that you Receive okay. Now habis Itu je yang tertinggal untuk kelas tadi Kelas tadi ada tertinggal saya tak pergi Go through on four point Which is Okay let me uh, get the overview Which is On the discount 
ada dua trade discount and also cash discount cash discount dia punya uh, recording ada two uh, times ya yeah, two times recording in the journal ada dua kali you akan record in the journal but then uh, for the trade discount only one time which is on the amount paid okay discount settle contohnya saya dah explain tadi dah okay now kita pergi ke carriage ada dua satu carriage inward and another one is carriage outward both of these is the cost of our transaction but then the apa tu the recording uh, where you should put uh, this in our sochi or in our soft is different okay but then uh, that one you will uh, basically know when you prepare a sochi and soft lah so uh, but what i have to different you what you can differentiate from here is that uh carriage outward to is you will affect your expenses in sochi but then uh for carriage uh, carriage inward you it will affect your cogs or cost of goods sold in sochi okay both is a cost so so basically it depends on the situation the so that's all this is the only part that i left out just now okay to you so that's all what please watch this video again if you cannot understand exactly what I, what am i going to say kan watch it again banyak-banyak kali tengok tak apa okay thank you